Hi guys, this is just a quick video to demonstrate the Railcom features of the Digikaze DR5000. I do have Railcom turned on on the PC app and I have it connected here to a Lens LRC120 and as you can see it is displaying the address 4504 and that is because that is the address of this locomotive right here 4504. Also have it connected to a booster here and a separate piece of track right here that is double gapped so they're completely isolated and so what I will do is I run the train from the side with the railcom into the non railcom side you'll notice that the number will go off as it exits the block and there it is off and so we will return the engine back to this block and you'll see the address pop back on as soon as it reaches it. This is a great feature for uh, hidden stage, staging yards. Uh, this could be mounted up on the valance or down on the fascia and correspond to the tracks that are in the hidden staging yard. Uh, this will also report the consist number as well. And then another great uh, feature would be for a roundhouse. This would keep you from having to pull out the locomotive to see the address if you don't remember what the address is especially if it was a larger one you could have a panel with multiple displays on it and that would make it real easy to be able to identify your engine address in uh, some place where they can't physically be seen or read off the side of the locomotive. Now this device does not provide any feedback to the computer or to the command station it's just simply reading the address um, from the railcom signal being reported back to the command station. Uh, if you need uh, feedback like for a rock rail or JMRI or iTrain or a panel on the, on the PC, then you'd still need a, a device like this that will report the locomotive address back to the PC. And so anyway, that's just a quick example of a way you can get an engine address to display and please like and subscribe for more videos if you have any comments or questions please leave those below thanks for watching